When you hear the word scout, then what sort of images come into your head? For me, I think about the exploration of remote and rugged places, the types of which only a few adventurous people are prepared to venture to. And that is exactly what the feature of this video, the 397 gross ton, 129 foot or 39 meter Explorer Yacht Scout 2 was built for. Scout 2 was built by Brook Yachts in the UK back in 1993. She was designed by Terence Disdale and has proven herself to be a thoroughbred world cruising exploration yacht. When you gaze upon this explorer yacht, you get a sense straight away of what she is capable of. Her high flared bow with space for two tenders that slopes back towards the main traditional looking superstructure where you will find the bridge and the owner's cabin. Moving further aft, we have a flybridge directly under the powerful navigation radars. We can also see a jacuzzi, great for a warm dip as you navigate the colder climates. Further aft we have a large outdoor area that provides ample space for lounging in the sun during the day and al fresco dining in the evening. Meanwhile the main deck aft gently slides down towards the beach club. Between 2016 and 2018, Scout 2 underwent a $12 million upgrade and extensive refit. This included a 5 meter extension aft and a 1 meter extension forward with the installation of a new radar mast. Her bow was also reshaped. All essential machinery and systems were replaced or remanufactured, including zero speed stabilizers, new generators, and new air conditioning. Scout 2 has a range of 3,600 nautical miles at a speed of 10 knots. Her maximum speed is 11 knots. Her hull and superstructure are both made out of steel and she is powered by twin 507 horsepower Caterpillar engines. Scout 2 can accommodate 9 guests as well as 9 crew and she has 4 guest staterooms. The inside of Scout 2 is just as impressive as her exterior with large open communal spaces which will allow you and your guests to enjoy being on board without feeling like you are on top of each other. The large windows allow light to flood in and helps you feel like you are blended into your surroundings. Inside the eye is met with a succinct flow of luxury accommodation spaces highlighted and enhanced by the indirect lighting, which really helps to set the mood. Personally, I love the design of these beautiful cabins. When you look around these interior spaces, you can really imagine just how homely they feel, which is great when you need some time out from the extreme elements which will greet you as you navigate towards your next remote location. As my regular viewers will already know, one of my favourite parts of any vessel is the bridge. And this traditional 1990s layout does not disappoint. Here is the crew mess and also some footage of the galley. 
The crew mess has a decent sized seating area with a few portholes for some natural light and the galley is both spacious and functional. For a yacht that is nearly 30 years old, the exterior spaces of Scout 2 are vast. From the flybridge to the sun deck, you are never short of big open spaces. After all, if you are going to be exploring the world, then you will want to see as much of it as possible. And where better to do that than outside? But when you head back inside, the immediate sense of comfort and coziness will help you to unwind and relax as a storm gathers ahead of you. The traditional finish of this Explorer yacht welcomes you with open arms. I have been a big fan of Explorer, Expedition and Trawler Yachts for 30 years now and I often ask myself just what is it that makes me such a big fan of the Super Yachts. For me it's the simplicity combined with ruggedness and the ability of this combination to create something that is so beautiful to look at. But what do you think of Scout 2? Let me know in the comments below and also let me know which is your favourite yacht or super yacht. If there are any other boats, yachts or super yachts which you would like me to feature on my channel then let me know in the comments section. One of the things I really enjoy about this channel is being able to interact with you in the comments section. It's great to have a like-minded community of boat and yacht enthusiasts to chat to. If you'd like to join my channel as a member, then you can click on the link that is going to appear now, or check out the link in the comments section. So until next time, fair winds and following seas.